Welcome to another tutorial from rcvacademy.com. So in this tutorial, uh, we'll continue with the previous crowd installation tutorial and uh, complete the setup of the crowd installation. So in previous tutorial, we have seen how you can install crowd and in the current tutorial, we'll see how you can configure it to complete the installation and then we'll see how you can integrate this instance with your Jira and go further from uh, from there for Atlassian um, uh, Jira administration tutorial. So on this crowd uh, installation page or configuration page after the installation, you can see you are on the internal dire directory setup, which is basically the internal directory supported in the crowd. And you can set up that internal directory name then the description you can provide the description about this directory and you can provide the password regex so for example what sort of complexity requirement you are looking for the password setup for your users you can provide that for example uh, password must be minimum eight characters one number one special characters and then you can provide the co corresponding regex to um, check that uh, password validation and then you ha you have the maximum password attempts right so uh, when do you want uh, your user account to be disabled or the user's account to be disabled in uh, how many wrong attempts of password so for example you you choose it three so in three wrong attempts uh, the user will be logged out and um, he will need to um, reset the password uh, similarly the history counts how many uh, times you want to uh, you know like the check repeated password so uh, like he user cannot use uh, same password as he used for uh, last two times so you just set it to if you want to disable these things you just put the uh, zero here so I'll keep it you know like at, at, at the default here and uh, then days until password expiry so zero it means disabled and uh, whatever number of days that you provide will be the password expiry date uh, for the user so he needs to he or she needs to reset the password once they reach this password expiry and uh, enable the new password so i'll keep that disabled as well and password encryption there are multiple options here so if you want to uh, the recommended advice is to have Atlassian security selected here so that you have compatibility between Atlassian products and uh, But you can you have option to choose different uh, encryption option there 75 SHA SSHA etc and uh, Then you can continue so once you have the internal directory set up uh, here you have uh, all the details here so whatever username you want to provide so I'll just provide uh, admin here as the username and then the password I'll provide and this is basically the admin password you are setting up the first time um, this is the default administrator so I'll just choose uh, my name here and then continue now here you are so which integrated application would you like to enable so um, the crowd open id server will allow you to authentic authenticate using your standard crowd logins and open id in a enabled website so um, basically at the moment i won't enable anything uh, because i'm just trying to configure some of the users and groups in crowd so i'll just keep it disabled uh, in the integrated application and now there you are on the uh, admin page and uh, just type in the username and password for the admin and click on login now once you are logged in into the Atlassian crowd server you can configure the internal um, users in uh, the crowd so you can see the message here you are currently running an evaluation version of crowd and uh, will give you that mail server has not been configured so you can configure mail server etc now from this interface so this is the crowd interface where you can have the directory configuration users and group configuration as well right now what we are interested in this crowd configuration is um, we will be using crowd internal directory to uh, demo how the LDAP connectivity happens between the LDAP server and your Jira 
uh, Atlassian Jira software. Um, so at the moment, we'll just keep the um, the crowd internal directory. However, you can add any sort of directory um, that you have in your organization. So you can have LDAP, Active Directory, etc. Uh, connector or Azure Active Directory and then configure those Active Directory and it will pull all the users um, and, and groups from those internal directories. So as of now, what we'll do is we'll just create internal groups in um, within the crowd and then use those groups. Okay, so I'll just say add group of uh, name as uh, IT or just say IT users and copy and paste and create this group right now so you can create multiple groups there and save the groups now if you go back to groups you will see crowd administrators and IT users similarly I'll create a group uh, as uh, software or say just developers in your organization uh, sorry I'll add a group and let's say developers and create add another group and just say business or say marketing people right so we have created a couple of groups there if you go back to groups you'll see developers IT users and marketing now let's go back and add some of the users within these groups so in developers we'll add some of the users so just create some dummy users there uh, So now in add user, you just provide um, the the email address. So I'll just say mkumar and username. I'll just say kumar. I'll just provide the password. So once you provide all these details and create the user, it will be added. To, uh, the particular directory so at the moment I just chose the crowd server directory uh, internal directory and the user got added so let's see where this particular user so at the moment you can see this is the user and let's go back to the group and in the developers we see whether the user has been added so we'll see click on M Kumar and add this user in this developers group all right so once you are done with adding all the users that you want in different groups you can simply go to the groups and search for those users so particular users in direct member you just add search for those users and add in those groups so let me complete this activity so now you can see I have added a couple of users there if I go to the users group so I was the administrator there then I have added a couple of dummy users so Alex, Guyan, J. Guyan, M. Kumar and M. Patel um, in the crowd internal directory now let's go back to the groups and add these users to some of these groups that we have created so let's go to IT users and go to direct members and then try searching so I'll add J. Guyan to the IT users and going back to group again uh, go to the marketing and add someone else there so I'll say M Kumar is from marketing and let's add uh, two members in developers group so we already have M Kumar there we'll add LXP there as well right so now you can see we have a couple of groups and then these groups have some of the members as well so there are two members in in developers and um, there are one there is one member in IT users and one member in marketing and then there is a crowd administrators group which is um, uh, when there is one member all right 
So that's a pretty much configuration of um, the crowd uh, internal directory and users and groups within the crowd. So this, uh, these uh, tutorials of crowd installation and configuration of groups and users is important to continue with the Jira administration users, uh, groups and roles understanding that we'll cover in the next tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and please do share and subscribe.